Hello, uh, it's Muhammad Ayub from Pretty Little Gym Company Limited, Bangkok, Thailand. Uh, actually, while doing the gemstone business, it's always a difficult task to take photos and videos of gemstone and to show its real color to the customer who are basically buying online. Nowadays, is most of the business is online. We are using social media for selling our gemstones. So it's our main responsibility to show the actual look of gemstone, their color, clarity, cuts, everything has to be photographed properly so the customer can get the idea of exactly what he will be getting. But this is a, not an easy job to taking up the photographs of the gemstone and capturing the good color, exact color and near to real appearance. Most of us, uh, we use like uh, mobile phones or different kinds of camera, but we don't know about the lightings, the setting, uh, shutter speed, what camera to use, which lens to use. So today I'm going to show you my simple system that I'm using for uh, photographing my gemstones and I hope this will help you all to get like better results. I'm not saying you will get 100% results but you will get something near to the real results. So first of all I'll show you this is my photo box. This is a big photo box I'm using for the lighting. You can see <clears throat> it's a big size of photo box. Then I'm using inside like these are LED lights, the strips and one light inside here to get the maximum lighting though. Maximum lighting for good results okay then i'm using veltrox l1160 light this also help control that can 100 percent lighting and the intensity and the color of lighting warmness warm two lights i'm using and the camera i'm using is like Nikon DSLR and this time I'm using 85 mm micro lens okay and I'm using this uh, platform In camera, basically, we have to use manual mode for the photography. So we can set each and everything by ourselves, okay? So I keep camera in manual mode and to get focus of the stone, I, I would like, I will start live live video view so i can see exactly how the stone will show in the photo so got the angle now you can see Uh, we have to control up three things first is uh, like the shutter speed if we reduce the shutter speed we will get low lighting you see the stone will be looking a bit dark but if we make the shutter speed slow we will be getting more light and you can see this will the stone will look more bright and 
clear. Same as the case with the aperture. If I keep aperture low, I will get more brighter result, but the stone will, when I take the photo, it will become little blur. For example, I took this photo and now you can see it's light, but the stone edges are blur. So if we make aperture high, like if I make it 22, so I'll be getting low light. Let's see, I'll be getting low light, but the result will okay. It's like natural color. Yeah. If you see it's like natural color, but the stone edges are not blurred. It's like a sharp photo. And you can see the back side cuts of the stone. Okay, so, and if I make the light high, for example, I make the light one by 25, 125, the shutter speed is now fast. So I am getting darker. This not near to real results. So, you see and now again i will make the time to shutter speed to 1 by 60 1 by 60 mean that the shutter will close open and close at 160 part of the second so if i make it 1 by 60 and i took photo so you will see uh, the before photo which was with 120 it's dark and this one is like better okay so we have to control the aperture and shutter speed iso also is uh, i think that we should control while taking the photo so for me normally i use like uh, 1 by 60 or 1 by 50 shutter speed and f22 i make the aperture i also i use uh, 650 or 800 but mostly i'm using this okay for the uh, okay. we can also control the exposure if you want to make it more brighter you can make the exposure high you see and you can make when i get better result at plus two exposure okay so now if you see i zoom the photo and take the photo so now this is uh, this is like near to real photo of the stone. If I see I, uh, the the camera resolution is not so good, the camera display. So if I transfer the photo to my desktop computer, it will give more better results. Like the color will be like natural and same settings i can use for the video also for example i'm uh, making video okay let me turn my background on the display you can see now it's getting very good results uh, i may add this video the the end of this tutorial video then you can see how the quality of the video will be. So this is like, in my opinion, it's uh, near to real uh, video of the stone. Okay, now I'll start it again. Mm, 
it. This is the video that I record. Actually, I'm holding mobile on one hand, so it's moving around, but I hope you will get some idea from this. Okay. Now this light I was to do. Uh, this light, if I change its intensity, wait. For example, if I change the intensity like this, you will see also. It will little bit changing. Okay. It's all about control of lights and angles and I can use different kinds of lighting for like now you see you will see the difference I can change the lights to get the desired results you see when I need to change light I will do on the both sides you see that means changing from bright white to warm yellow and it will change the results of the gemstones also okay so for me and for my photography and my videography what I use is like I would like repeat, uh, repeat for your information. A photo box, okay. Big photo box, like so. You can use your hand easily, and then upside lighting, a diffusion cloth, diffusing cloth that diffuse the light from the top. A platform. DSLR camera with the 85 mm lens. You can use 60 mm as well. For some stone, I'm using 60 mm lens. Okay. And additional lights to control the color of the gemstones and lights. And uh, in this, some lights will like increase the sparkle of the stones also some will decrease some will increase it but this is uh, all about the practice that how how you use and control the lights okay and then the camera setting ah one more thing for different stones i use different backgrounds these are like homemade backgrounds. You can use anything for a background. This is made from leather. I can use this side and use this one. I can use this background. I can use white background. It depends that how you want to show your stone and how you make the backgrounds. Okay. This is the black background different kind of background sometimes i use like this for making shades when you use the photography equipments different time you will know what background to use what item you can use for making backgrounds and how you control the light so summarizing about the camera uh, you will keep the camera in manual mode so you can control the aperture shutter speed and iso and then three things to control one is like shutter speed higher the shutter speed you will get low level of lights and down the shutter speed like slower shutter speed you will give maximum amount of light and the aperture is like uh, aperture is uh, 
also controlling the lights and sharpness of the photo so if you keep uh, the if you keep the aperture on 22 you are getting minimum light but sharp edges of the stone but if you keep it on like uh, low aperture for example i come to 4.5 so you see the mount is more open you are getting maximum light but the stone edges will become blur so my suggestion is i am using it like uh, for 22 2018, 2022 20, to 25, you will get better results. And ISO, uh, ISO is something like for, in ISO setting, I am using 500 to 800, depending on the stone. Sometimes I can use 1000 also, but if you go for lower iso you will get lower light low level of colors and if you go for higher you will get more lights and more uh clarity of colors but if you go about 800 1000 or 1250 like this then you will get problems with the photo quality you will see like higher iso will show more noise in the photo and lower ISO will show lower noise in the photo. So it's all about controlling these three things. ISO, uh, shutter speed, aperture and ISO. So this is enough for today I think. And uh, now when I edit this photo uh, and video, I will include in the end of this video and you will see that how I get the results of the stone. Okay, one more thing. As I told you, now I'm using uh, my mobile in hand so you can see most vibration. The screen is going like this, this. This is also about the camera. If you are using camera and you are controlling with your hand, there are a lot of chances that you will get vibration and your photo will become blur. So the best option is like a remote for the camera. You will set the camera by remote. Uh, you make your focus. And press the button and take photo, okay? So it will have no vibration, no blurness and nothing. One more thing. For the zoom, for the focus, uh, uh, I'm using manual focus. Because autofocus didn't provide you the full details of the stone. For example, I will take it like, you see. Right. You can see this photo is uh, well. Let me make the angle and zoom. Camera on, sir. Well, you can see the angle and zoom. Now you see. I make it with the uh, manual focus. Okay. So you see the details in the photo. It's, you see the facets and everything. You see, facets and everything is like clear. But when I use manual uh, auto, first for the last photo was in manual mode. So now I am changing my camera to auto mode. Now you will see.
you can see it don't have such detail there was in previous photo like the previous photo i zoom it by my you see each and every face it is clear in the manual zoom but in the auto zoom you can see the blurness on the facet edges so what i suggest is using the manual focus okay so i will conclude now uh, using uh, a photo box photo box lights inside the photo box additional lights dslr camera macro lens depend on the stone size you can make 60 mm lens you can use or 85 mm lens you can use 100 mm micro lens also and then the control use the camera in manual mode uh, take control of shutter speed aperture and iso use a remote keep the lens on manual mode okay use a tripod and use a tripod and controlling the lights about the environment and using different background so the more you practice on the photography the more you will get perfect Yes, one more thing I forgot. Sometime for gemstone you have to use the ring flash also. But if you are using these lights, then you don't need the ring flash too much. Because if you use the ring flash for each and every stone, you will get different colors. You will not be getting real colors. So I think it's enough for now and hope this video will help you to understand the basic of gemstone photography. If you have any questions about the lighting, about the control, you can make a comment on the video and I'll gladly provide you the information.